This is part 37 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between dollar $scope and dollar $root $scope. The main difference is that dollar $root $scope is available globally for all the controllers, whereas dollar $scope is only available to the controller that has created it and its children. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Within our script.js file right here, we've got two controllers, red color controller and green color controller. Notice into both of the controller functions, we are injecting dollar $scope object. This red color controller function is setting red color property on its dollar $scope object, whereas the green color controller is setting green color property on its dollar $scope object. Now, in addition to injecting dollar $scope object into one of these controller functions, I am also going to inject dollar $root $scope. And then I'm going to set root scope color property on the root scope object. And I'm going to initialize this with I am root scope color. And then within our HTML file, I'm going to include a development. And I'm going to make red color controller in charge of this development. So ng dash controller, let's set that to red color controller. So let's copy the name of the controller from here and specify it right here. And what we want to do within this development is display root scope color property value. Similarly, we want to display red color property value and finally green color property value. Now, if you look at the root scope color property, that's defined on the root scope object. So that's what we want right here. So let's specify a binding expression and include a break element. And then we want the red color property value. So let's copy the name of the red color property value from here and specify it right here. And finally, we want green color property value. So let's just change the name right here. All right, I'm going to include another break element and another break element here. Let's make a copy of this development. And I'm going to make green color controller in charge of this development. And then again, we want root scope color property value. And then we want here green color property value. So let's change the name of the property here to green color. And last, we want red color property value. Let's save all these changes and reload this page. And let's see what output we get. Notice root scope color property value is available in both the developments. So here, red color controller is in charge. And here, green color controller is in charge. Now, since we have created root scope color property on dollar root scope object, that will be available for all the controllers. So here, red color controller is in charge. Here, green color controller is in charge. But still, this root scope color property will be available within both the controllers because that is defined on dollar root scope object. And this red color property will be available for this red color controller because that's the controller that has created it. And that's why we see I am red color. But whereas if you look at the green color property, this is created by green color controller on dollar scope object. So that property will not be available for red color controller. And that's why we see you know, no value here against green color controller. And the same is true for this red color property here because right here, we are in green color controller. So for the second development, green color controller is in charge. And this red color property is defined by red color controller. So that property will not be available for green color controller. So that's why here, within the scope of green color controller, we don't see red color property. And within the scope of red color controller, we don't see green color property value. So that's the main difference. Now, what we want to do is display something like this. 
you know within the scope of red color controller we want to display this message green color is undefined and within the scope of green color controller we want to display this message red color is undefined so let's see how to achieve this now I am going to include a span element right here and set the style attribute let's set color to red and on this pan element I'm going to include ng show directive now when do we want to show this directive you don't want to show it all the time whenever green color property is undefined so we are you know within the scope of red color controller so when green color property is equal to undefined that's when we want to display this span element so if this condition is true then show this span element and what is this span element going to tell it's going to tell green color is undefined let's do the same thing with the other development that we have here so I'm going to delete this and include the span element and we want to show this span element when red color is undefined so when red color is undefined so when this condition is true then show the span element red color is undefined so let's save these changes and let's reload this page look at that within the scope of red color controller green color property is undefined within the scope of green color controller red color property is undefined thank you for listening and have a great day